Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve's MacFix. Today what we're going to be doing is learning how to back up any DVD, whether it's copyright protected or even just your personal home videos. Now, why would you do this? Well, this tutorial is not for like piracy or anything like that, but a lot of the times we purchase DVDs and the situation, I'm going to show you Lilo and Stitch. And I bought this with my own personal money. And I would like a backup of this or even just rip it. And, um... The copyright protection doesn't let us do that, although we have digital rights to it. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. This is not intended for any type of piracy. I just want to make sure it's clear. Uh, so we're going to bypass those protection stuff on here, and then from there, uh, burn it back onto a DVD that we, on a blank DVD. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, no piracy, please. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, why would you do this? I have two kids. and Second of all, I am horrible with DVDs. My kids like to play frisbee with it when I'm not around. Somehow they get a hold of it and scratch it up or whatnot. Or they like to, I don't know, break them for some reason. So that's why I'm showing you how to do this. Uh, and it's always, it's always nice to have a backup of anything. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to use two programs. Let's get started, guys. I'm using two programs. One is called um, Mac DVD Ripper Pro. This is a paid application. I might hook some of you guys up. If you guys are following me on Twitter, shoot me a message, and I might hook you guys up. Uh, follow Steve's MacVix on Twitter. The other application, what we're going to do is Toast Titanium, and that's actually burn it back onto a DVD. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First off, what you want to do is go ahead, load the disk into your Mac. The DVD will automatically start playing. Um, if it does start playing, make sure you exit it out of the application, the DVD player itself completely. Do not make it run at all, or else the Mac DVD Ripper will not work. Once it's closed, go ahead, start Mac DVD Ripper Pro, and it's going to scan. Let me get rid of that, and as you can see, left. As you can see here, it's going to scan, and now what I want to do is make sure you find out where you want the destination. It's going to rip the DVD completely. Um, on my backup DVDs, what I like to do is just get the main movie only. That way you don't have to go through all the, cr uh, not credits, but all the, the previews and all that stuff. hate that stuff. So on this situation, I'm choosing my desktop. If you'd like to change the location, you just click here. So on my desktop, and then from here, I'm going to choose main movie only. I don't need the whole image or anything like that. I just want the main movie for me. Then from there, I'm going to press rip. And what that does is it's going to take the movie. Hold on one second. It says select the title. You want to rip, blah, 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 blah. Just press select. Okay. It's going to take the entire movie, rip it onto a, um, a file format on your desktop from here. Uh, when this, this is done, I'll go ahead and, go ahead and uh, continue the tutorial, and we'll go from there, all right? So it takes quite a amount of time. As you can see, it says 16 minutes to rip this entire movie, all right? See you guys in a second. Okay, so we got 20 seconds left, and I just wanted to do a quick run through this again, though. So what we're doing is actually creating and ripping the uh, DVD, actually. Another thing, too, is if you try to copy um, one of these videos from Disney or whatever, Sony, Paramount, you can't copy it disc to disc. Um, there's some copyright-protected stuff on there, and that's why I'm also showing you how to bypass that. All right, so right now it's generating the DVD structure. Um, a DVD structure is created into two main fo folders. One is an audio folder and a video folder. And this is what it's actually doing right now. When this is completely done, which it is now, what we're going to do is this. We could close out of the Mac DVD Ripper Pro. What's going to happen, though, it's going to start playing the DVD because it recognized the disc now that Mac DVD Ripper is done. So go ahead and exit out of that. Next, what we're going to do is take a look at the folder we just created, or the file we just created. Over here, um, you'll notice here is the actual disc itself, and over here we have the file we just made. What I want you to do is right click on this, if it lets me. And then from there, you want to go to Get Info. This is where the magic happens, actually. 
You see this here, Lilo and Stitch .us .dvd media. You want to change that .dvd media and turn that into a .avi. So let's go ahead and show you that. Again, right click on the file, change this where the name and extension is, and change the extension to a .avi. Go ahead and close that from there. From here, it's going to ask, are you um, going to change from DVD media to AVI? Just put yes, use AVI. Once you converted the file to a .avi, you'll notice that the icon on the desktop looks a lot different. It's just a folder, actually. And what it did is segregate the, the actual file into an audio format and a video format. What we want to do is actually just take the video.ts folder and we're going to drag that over to Toast Titanium. Go ahead and launch Toast Titanium. I'm using Toast Titanium 11 by the way. And On the top you'll notice it says data, audio, and video and copy and convert. We want to go to video. Next over here select where it says DVD video. You want to change this into a DVideo TS folders. That way it's going to be recognized the folder that we created and ripped from the DVD itself. I want to take this here now, go ahead and drag that over to Toast Titanium. Now what we have to do is go ahead and burn. It's pretty simple now. So let me go ahead and get a blank disk. And put this in the DVD player. Wait for that to load up. Okay, so once that loads up, go ahead and press burn, and then guess what? It starts burning, and you just bypassed all that protection stuff that you actually paid for on your movie. So it's going to go ahead and burn, and then when this is done, I'll actually get back to the tutorial, and we'll talk about it again, okay? See you guys in a second. Okay, so once actually your disk is done burning and it's verified and you're ready to eject, go ahead and do that. In fact, let's just go ahead and actually mount it. So that way we can see if the disk actually works. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says your disk is ready to label, blah, 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 blah. Press OK. And let's go ahead and mount the disk. I'm going to exit out of Toast Titanium. And let's see if the DVD plays. So here I have the uh, the disc I burned. I'm going to put it in. No label or anything. We'll put it in the Mac. And it should start playing Lilo and Stitch. Now I'm not going to show the video obviously because of copyright and YouTube and all that weird stuff. So we'll go from there. But uh, other than that, this is how you actually burn, well rip, and then burn a copyrighted uh, protected DVD or even just your... Um, DVDs that you want to just back up in general. Okay, guys. Or not, take care, you guys. I will see you on the next video. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. It's going to start playing here. Hopefully. There it is, starting up. Let me exit out of there. Anyway, make sure you guys follow me up on Twitter. If you are part of my Tweet fam and you've been following me for quite a while, I'll hook you guys up with a copy. Uh, just send me an at message at Twitter, SteveMacPix at Twitter, okay? Take care, you guys. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.